guys, it's Lindsay. So today we're going to be doing a first impression on a new drugstore liquid lipstick. Can you guess which one? I recently hauled the new Wet n Wild drugstore liquid lipsticks, but then I saw this drugstore display and it was calling my name because there was a million nudes, well actually like eight nudes, that was totally right up my alley. The liquid lipstick I'm talking about is the new Jordana Sweet Cream matte liquid lipstick. I have a total of seven out of the 13, 12 or 13 shades. A lot of the other shades were really dark in different colors. It just wasn't my cup of tea. I picked up the ones that I think would be the most popular ones that would be, you know, the most to use because a lot of them are more wearable shades and more everyday shades. Now this is not an everyday shade, but I definitely am feeling a darker lip. I'm loving it. I love, I love vampy lips just in general anyway. And this is actually the very last shade that I swatched. My lips are on fire. So I sort of did some lip swatches in between and I also did some swatches on my hand. I'm not going to show you them. I want it to be a surprise so you have to watch the video. So yeah, if you want to see a try on of these liquid lipsticks the very first time I've ever worn these, then definitely stay tuned. And also make sure that you're subscribing down to my channel and leaving a comment letting me know exactly what you think of this video. And also there is a bell notification. If you guys would go ahead and press that for me, it would notify you letting you know that I have a video out. If you guys could do that for me, that'd be awesome. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these lip swatches and let's get into my first impressions, trying them on. We're going through the whole deal. And just so you know, excuse it if it is messy. A lot of them, I'm not even using a lip liner, so it's just off the cuff. But yeah, you'll see what I think about them in just a few seconds, girl. All right, I'll stop talking. Let's get into the first impressions. Y'all, so I went to Walgreens today. Right now we're just gonna be trying out these $5 liquid lipsticks. I ended up not buying all of the colors mainly because there was a, like a magenta color and then a really dark red and a really dark berry shade. I was just uninterested. They have a lot of nudes in this collection. They are each $4.99 and the shade selection, there was like a ton of nude shades, which I do not see very often in the drugstore. I'm going to start out from the lightest to the darkest. I will do some swatches here so you can see them as well. So the first one is this really pretty, really pale nude, and I am really excited for this one because this has been like, this kind of shade is right up my alley. It's just a really pretty light nude shade. And this one's 23 Buttercream Frosting. They smell like cream cheese icing. Oh my gosh. Oh, this color. I am all about this color right here. So that is Buttercream Frosting. This is an absolute beautiful shade. Like this is an everyday liquid lipstick color for me. I am so excited to try out the rest because this is such, it's not a thick formula. I did have to go over it twice. It is an opaque formula, but I just found that with my lip shape, I just kind of had to go over a few areas twice. It's not patchy. It's a really thin formula and it feels full coverage, but it does not feel like that overwhelming, really thick, really sticky, almost that really heavy like cake feeling on your lips. It's really, really comfortable. And the, the work time with this, I would say is a lot better than some other liquid lipsticks I've tried before. This feels so nice on my lips. I am so excited. So yeah, this one's called Buttercream Frosting. Oh my God, it's called Buttercream. It smells like cream cheese frosting, like for real, like off of a red velvet cake. I don't wanna take this color off because this is so pretty. The next color I'm gonna swatch is this Jordana color in 01 Creme Brulee. This one is also another, it's a slightly darker nude from the last one. Oh my gosh, I am totally in love with these. Like, I can already tell. <gasps> so this is Creme Brulee. This is such a beautiful shade and the formula again with this one I didn't see any patchiness it has full coverage over my lips without feeling too thick on top of my lips 
it feels so light on my lips. I don't even feel, I don't even feel it. And that's a thing about liquid lipsticks that really bothers me is that I feel like most of the time I can feel them sitting on the top of my lips. This does not give me any of that at all. I swatched buttercream frosting and creme brulee on my hand. The buttercream frosting is right here and then creme brulee is right here on my hand so you can definitely see. Oh, let me, let me move my, my Fitbit out of the way. So you can tell this is the nude shade. This is this more darky, darky? Dark, more mauve shade. This is absolutely beautiful. And you can just see how full coverage the swatches are on my hand. They are just so nice. I think the next color I'm going to do is 22 Cinnamon Toast. Ooh, Cinnamon Toast is like way darker swatched than what it looks in the actual tube itself. This looks very similar to Kat Von D Lolita. And that's like one of my all-time favorite Kat Von D liquid lipsticks ever. Oh, girl. Girl. I'm noticing it's not patchy, but you are going to have to go over it a couple of times. Now granted, this is just a lip swatch video, so my lips are not going to be perfect. Some of these darker shades, I don't have a lip liner on underneath. It's not going to be perfect edges, but I will say that this color looks way darker on the lips than it actually does in the tube. So whenever you're buying these, just make sure that you're testing them out first if your store has a tester to kind of see which color would more suit you because this is way darker than what it looks like in this tube. I mean, it doesn't look very off from the very um, second shade creme brulee, but definitely swatched is a lot darker. So I would definitely say, you know, that's why we have lip swatch videos. I will say with two layers, it built up to really full coverage and it's really, I just cannot express enough how nice they feel on the lips and I don't feel like they're cracking on my lips at all. Yeah, I can't say it enough. They are probably the most comfortable liquid lip I've ever really worn and I've worn some expensive liquid lipsticks and these definitely take the cake and it's just awesome that you can find these in like a local drugstore and instead of buying like ColourPop which is online, they have an affordable range of liquid lipsticks but you know. You still have to order and wait online and everything else and it's just not fun. The next color I'm going to swatch is number 7 in Tiramisu. And again, the same smell. But I, I haven't noticed whenever I apply it, whenever it dries down, I notice any of the smell anymore. But it's definitely like a sweet scent and it smells so good. Oh, this one's probably going to be the most like popular. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. So Tiramisu is right here. Oh my lord. This is going to be so, so pretty. Like, it is such a thin formula, but it's so nice as far as coverage goes. So that is Tiramisu, and this is, again, stunning. This is such a pretty shade. Full coverage, looks fantastic. You can't get any better than these. Like, I am, I am so in love with these guys that it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. The next one I'm going to use is 24 Strawberry Sunday. So that is Strawberry Sunday right there. Woohoo, girl, that is pink. This pink color is a little pink for me, but it's not really bad. I feel like Barbie wearing this shade. <laughs> it's just a really pretty pink shade and I didn't have any skipping with this one, so this one's a winner too. The next shade is Rose Macaroon number 09. And that is Rose Macaroon right there on the back of my hand. I'm like looking in the viewfinder to make sure I'm getting this in frame, but that is Rose Macaroon right there. Guys, it's getting to a point where I cannot pick a favorite. Out of all these shades that I've been swatching, like, I cannot pick a favorite. And these are all some of the most beautiful <laughs> colors. And these are all right up my alley. So, I mean, Jordana is killing it. They are killing it. And the last shade in the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Shades is this color number 21, Molten Chocolate Cake. This one's going to be super dark. I just know it. Oh my gosh. Now that is like, if you're looking for a vampy brown nude shade, that is it. What? I'm so not used to shades this dark, so this is going to be so interesting to see 
how this turns out. I will say I had the most difficulty with the darkest shade mainly because I work a little bit slower whenever it comes to the darker shade and I noticed that the dry down time was a lot faster and I had to work a lot quicker which then caused a lot more patchiness in certain areas when I tried to go over on my lips I had to go over twice in total um, to get really full coverage with this liquid liquid lipstick as far as like patchiness after it's dried it looks beautiful it looks it looks fantastic so that is it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression. All my social media links will be here in the video or somewhere down in the down bar below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I love you all. Bye! I feel love you so much. Love you so much. Girl, aren't I so fancy with this light? <laughs> it is background. <laughs> but for real though, I'm looking in the viewfinder. I'm feeling a dark lip. I feel it. I feel it.